I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you one of the most difficult question on arithmetic series, right? So let me write this as my test question for you. The question here is, for an arithmetic sequence, 13th term is 177, 22nd term is minus 207. Find the sum of first 30 terms. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion right this question has all the components which can help you make mistakes right so that's the whole idea when we put a difficult test problem so go through it carefully and then look into my suggestion now when you have question like this we know that these terms are terms of arithmetic sequence so we can now apply the formula which is nth term is given to us which is kind of different for the two numbers but nth term formula is a plus n minus 1 times d where a is the first term and n is set of natural numbers 1 2 3 4 we know t 13 that means t 13th is a plus n is 13 for us so we'll write 13 minus 1 times d and this term is equal to what this term is equal to 177, right? So let me write 177 here. So 177 is equal to a plus 12d. Is it okay? Now we also know the 22nd term. So we'll write t22 equals to a plus 22 minus 1 times d. So we get our second equation, which is minus 207 equals to a plus 21d, right? So where these two terms we get two different equations let me call these equations as equation one and two from these two equations you can find the value of d right by eliminating a so how do we eliminate a we can do one minus two right so we'll do equation one minus equation two use calculators there could be a mistake in this step itself so when i do 177 minus of minus 207 they really get added up, right? So we are doing these two equations, take away operation, correct? So so we can add them, right? So it is 177 plus 207 equals to 384. So when I take away minus 207 from 177, I get 384. So we get 384 equals to A minus A is 0 and 12 minus 21, 12 minus 21 is negative 9 negative 9d right so from here you can find what d is which is 384 divided by negative 9 right so let's divide 384 by 9 so we'll put negative sign to whatever we get so we get 128 over 3 so it is negative 128 over 3 so basically first we find one of the parameters and this time we found d right so now we know what d is so d is equals to minus 128 over 3 keep it as a fraction right dividing by 3 doesn't help you much because you get that recurring 3 type of things right so never put it in decimals that is my advice to you now once you know d you can find a using one of your equations so let us say you use equation number one we can say a equals to that means rearrange a equals to 177 minus 12 times d now since i know what d is i'll say 177 minus 12 times minus 128 over 3 put it in brackets right and then evaluate using calculator correct now okay we can see minus minus will become plus correct so let's not bother about the sign now because this becomes plus so some things we do with our ease at times it may become critical you know you can make mistakes avoid mistakes so first step okay let me write this as 177 plus 12 times you could simplify but we are using calculator right so i have learned all this now so 128 divided by 3 we already have We'll multiply this by 12, say equal to, and plus 177, and say equal to. So we get A as 689. So we get A. So that is what we get. So we now know A is 689. What do we need? We need sum of first 
30 terms query. So sum of first 30 term, which formula to use? Since we do not know the 30th term, we don't want to find it now. So we'll use the formula which requires A and D, right? So that formula indeed is, let me write here and then we'll do calculation, right? So S of N, sum of any number of terms is N divided by 2. 2 times A plus N minus 1 times D, right? So that is the formula which we are going to use to find the sum of 30 terms. So sum of 30 terms will be S30, right? So N is 30. So we'll write 30 divided by 2 and within brackets 2 times A. Now 2 times 689. So we have 2 times 689 in bracket. And then we have to add, let's add N minus 1, that is 30 minus 1 times D, which is minus 123 over 3. So minus 128 over 3. I hope you can see all this. Let me push it a bit here, right? So so that is how we can find the, the sum of first 30 terms and then we close the bracket, correct? So now let's evaluate this answer. Now what we do here is that we know 2 times this. This is a big fraction. So We'll do it in steps. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Let me write again. 15. Okay. 2 times 689. 2 times 689 equals to 1378. And then this is 29 times all that, but with a negative sign. Correct? That is 29. So what I will do is I'll do 29 times 128 equals to divided by 3 equals to. So we get. 3712 divided by 3. So my calculator is pretty good. It just gives you in fractions, which I really want, right? 1378 take away 3712 divided by 3 equals 2. And then we'll multiply this by 15. And what do we get? We get 2110. So, so what we get here is that the sum of 30 terms is 210. Okay, so that is how we should be doing these kinds of questions. So we have answered as 200 and 2110 as sum of first 30 terms. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. So in this method, we have to first find our first term and the common difference and then apply the formula for sum and find the sum for 30 terms. Thank you and all the best.